everyone, it's Mr. Robinson again, and I want to talk to you all about climate change. I don't know how much you follow the news, but climate change has been making more and more headlines. We've been hearing about wildfires in Australia and Greece, stronger tropical storms, floods in Germany, water shortages in the Sahel, and heat waves in Canada. And I don't know about you, but all these negative stories start to get me down. It's easy to fall into a trap of thinking that this is the end of the world, that there's nothing that can be done. However, while we have all this doom and gloom, there are also many positive stories that we should be hearing about. We have promises from our government and many other governments around the world to be carbon neutral by fixed points in the future. We have individuals like Greta Thunberg inspiring millions around the world to take action in their own day-to-day -day lives. We have companies like Apple and Facebook promising to be carbon neutral by 2030. And we've just had COP26 in Glasgow, which yes, was not perfect, but at least made progress towards achieving a solution to climate change and in providing financing for developing countries to adapt to the effects of climate change. I want to focus on this positivity and not on the negative stories that we hear all the time. I was an engineer for 20 years and yes, while engineering is all about machines and technology and science, what it really is about is finding solutions to problems. So I tend to take a very positive view on things. Whenever I see a problem, yeah, I think, okay, that's not good, that's bad, but what are the solutions? What can I do to solve this? How can I contribute to finding a solution to this problem? And you might think, yeah, these problems are too big. There's nothing I can do to fix this and when I was a young engineer I used to feel like that quite a lot but over time with the help of people who knew more I was able to learn about how to bring about change. So, on a personal level, I know that most problems, even big ones, can be fixed. And what I've seen on an international level tells me that countries can work together to bring about positive change. So I have confidence, a lot of confidence, that the same will be true of climate change. Yes, it is a big problem, but humanity has a way of getting stuff done when it really needs to. Solving climate change will need the efforts of scientists, politicians, journalists and business leaders. But underpinning this, what is really important is that there are everyday people like you and me who are pushing for change. And that is where you come in. I want to start a conversation. What can we, as a school, as a community, as individuals, what can we do to contribute to a solution to climate change? And I know you're thinking, hell, I'm 12, 13, 14, 15 years old. What power do I have? Who's gonna listen to me? And I get that because I too felt that way and probably would still feel that way were it not for some very clever people that showed me how to bring about change, how to build things, how to get stuff done. And that's where I and the teachers in this school come in. So let's have this conversation. You will all hopefully have been given a piece of paper. If you're interested in doing something about climate change, if you care about the environment, if you're interested in becoming a climate leader, write yes on that piece of paper along with your name and tutor group and hand it in to your tutor or your head of year. I will get in touch about arranging a time we can meet as a group and plan how you can make the world a better place. 
because yes you can make the world a better place you can change the future you can play a part in this global effort that's connecting us all you just need to know how and you just need the tools to get that job done and once you have those tools trust me they'll be with you for the rest of your life And I'm not going to tell you what you will do to play a part in this because these ideas will come from you. You will take ownership of them. You will make your own ideas reality. I'm just there to help. So again, if this is something you want to do, and it doesn't matter if you're year seven or year 13, write yes on that piece of paper, your name and your tutor group. So that's all for me. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day and an even better week. If you have any questions and you see me about, feel free to stop me. I'll spend the time to answer any questions that you might have. All right, guys, take care.